Hello everyone and welcome to another Thomas Wooden Railway Review video. This time we are taking a look at a non-rail character. This is Harold the Helicopter. The, uh, pretty much the only helicopter that has appeared in the TV series, uh, so far. We have not seen any other helicopters in the TV series, at least not that I know of. But we have seen other, uh, characters that are flight-based, uh, vehicles, like Jeremy the Jet Plane and Tiger Moth the Biplane. And a few others that, but I can't think of any others at the moment. Those might be the only ones, but characters like that. So this right here is a updated version of Harold that came out much later. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is one that came out in 2010. I got this one because he has a more roundish looking face compared to... Uh, the original Harold, who kind of is more of a blockish look. In fact, he's got a more plastic uh, face, uh, while the face on the original right here is made of wood. And the Thomas Wood version of Harold also is mostly made of wood, although I'm pretty sure the legs are the same, or are in plastic on every version of them. So, that's something. Another thing that they did improve on uh, between versions is that they actually had the uh, the red ends of Harold's uh, propellers be, uh, be painted on, while on the original they were not painted on. The same case also goes for this version of Harold, which came in the Superstation. I'm not quite sure what uh, sort of brand this is supposed to be, whether it be uh, Trackmaster or, or something, probably Trackmaster. Certainly does not look like it is a Thomas Wooden Railway model because it's, you know, first off, not made of wood, uh, unlike these two. Anyway. There was a version of Harold where there was the cargo underneath him where you could just raise the cargo up. I think that may have came in some sort of uh, set. I'm not quite sure what it was. Harold also came in a, uh, a hospital uh, set, although I think it was the original version, this one, that came in that uh, set. But I, I never got that. Uh, hospital uh, destination. And much like most of the characters, he does have his name underneath, although it's very small right here. And of course, uh, usually the names uh, are printed underneath the characters uh, are, are in white. But since Harold is a white character himself, it has to be in black, because if it was in white, we wouldn't be able to see it. And right here, they also added on the propeller on uh, the back fin, which is interesting. It doesn't rotate at all. It's just there for uh, decoration. And although this was uh, new in box, I've noticed that there was a... No, no, don't fall, camera, please. That there was this tiny little chip uh, on Harold's side, even though this was new in box, so it's... So that's very likely a chip that was actually made in uh, the factory uh, before he was uh, packaged up. So I can't really say that I should have any blame on the uh, the previous owner because he was he was sealed in the box. He was not used before. He was completely new, and I don't think uh, I caused the uh, that chip to happen, I think, was just already there. So anyway, that is my review on the uh, Thomas Wooden Railway Herald, the 2010 version, or later than that line, I believe. Not quite sure. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.